And his second pitch misses. It's 2-0. He got roughed up in the first inning by Atlanta in his last start on July 1st. Allowed those three runs in the first inning. Five hits through the first two innings. And then he retired 18 in a row before he was done in the seventh. As Arias fouls one away. And of those final 18 he retired in a row. He had a string of eight straight strikeouts in 12 of those batters. Uh, went down via the strikeout. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why he hasn't been able to really pitch too deep in games. Seven innings his last time out against the Braves, but he used 93 pitches to get through seven innings. He's only gone over 100 pitches once this year. Two one on the way to Arias, and he hits this one hard left field deep, and this one is gone. A home run for Luis Arias to lead things out. And how about that start against the all-star Jacob DeGrom? Well, you called it. I mean, last time out against the Braves, he got roughed up in the first inning and then was able to settle down. A lot of times when you're facing the great ones, you got to get them early. You might not get them at all. That was a 2-1 fastball out over the plate, pretty straight, and Arias... Turns it around for number 11 for Luis. There's a good start. Look at that extension. My goodness, good swing. It's only the fifth home run allowed by DeGrom this year. So first inning woes for the second consecutive game for Jacob DeGrom. Brewers will take it. All about timing, right? Yeah. I'm sure he said, you know, I'll probably get it against Jacob DeGrom when we're in New York. <laughs> But against the great ones, we've talked about it, you get them early. And he was able to jump on it in the first inning. You don't get many opportunities to score on guys like DeGrom. And yeah, Corbin Burns so far has made sure that those two runs the Brewers put up for him have held up. Got two more innings to go. Two to one Milwaukee lead. One down here in the sixth inning. The Brewers have a two to one lead and have not had a man on base today. They've circled the bases twice. You don't see that very often. That's the beauty of this game though. Which means the Grum has not worked out of the stretch. Three balls in a strike to Arias. Here's DeGrom. And Arias a heavy swing there down to his knee. Man. The first three ball count DeGrom has had today. He just can't overswing with a guy throwing near 100 miles an hour. He'll supply the power for you. But in your mind, that just doesn't jive. I mean, the harder he throws, the harder you want to swing. We see that often enough with Urias dropping to a knee. See how he handles the 3-2 pitch. A little check swing foul back to stay alive. DeGrom debuted in the majors in 2014 and won Rookie of the Year. Two-time Cy Young Award winner in 2018 and 2019. Finished third a year ago. 3-2 pitch, and this one hit pretty well to center field, falls in for a base hit in the left center. And second hit for Milwaukee and first actual base runner of the game. Time now for a quick word from Felco. 